What is up G Crew? I'm Chris G bringing you guys another video and in today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, instead of me editing photos on Lightroom and showing you guys how I do it, um, we're going to be going out and taking photos and just showing you guys the process of it. So without further ado guys, I hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah. Alright guys, so we made it here. Here's Orlando, my buddy. What's up? And uh, we're gonna get some lime scooters and get something to eat before we start shooting. So without further ado, let's go. <laughs> made it to Chipotle and now we can finally eat. Orlando, you want to say anything? He has a burrito in his mouth. That was a middle of a bite. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, finally made it to our location at Confluence Park here in San Antonio. Um, it is hot outside, so we're gonna try to shoot some stuff with our cameras, not guns, but uh, but yeah. Yo, just finished shooting some b-roll footage. My goodness, it is hot. Was not ready for this at all. Orlando's over there. Some shots. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but we're doing that. I'm gonna hop down here real quick. All right, so pretty much, I'm gonna take some pictures right now. I think I'm done with all the b-roll footage for today. Um, Orlando's been taking most of the pictures. But um, but yeah, I think I think right now I'm gonna finally take some pictures. So we tried taking pictures of me. That didn't work out because since there's so much water around, I wet my pants like. Literally. So unfortunately, I don't think I could get good pictures of me, but uh, we're working with what we got. So I just thought of an idea where I jump across a bridge and uh, yeah, we'll see how that one turns out. Uh, it's going to be all on Orlando. I'm gonna get one last shot. Um, I wanna do a long exposure, but right now it's too bright and I don't have an ND filter, so I should probably invest in one. But um, hopefully the sun goes down fast because Orlando has to go on a camping trip um, for church. So hopefully everything works out. So uh, Orlando had to leave early, unfortunately. Um, I stayed a little bit longer to see if I could get the shot. And unfortunately, there was one specific fall that I wanted to get a, um, a photo of. And it just wasn't happening, it was too bright. 
you can see it's not that dark well it's because I raised my eyes so well into 800 um, didn't get the shot I wanted oh well maybe next time I don't know happens all right cool guys I hope you enjoyed the vlog um, now I mean now that I'm back home we're just gonna be going over the photos that we took um, and show you guys the before and after and what I thought of them and what I was trying to get at with them so I guess the first photo I guess we can look at myself we're trying to take some portraits and uh, it didn't go too well so you can see here in this photo it's just me looking down at my sticks I wanted to uh, I guess have my drumming stuff more related in my photos so that's why I got the sticks and I didn't notice that my what my pants were wet from the water because it was like wet everywhere and I had to get down on my knees to like get a photo um, that I'll show you um, later and um, it didn't work out but I ended up being able to edit and making it look like this didn't really do too much with my pants I don't know it kind of looks very glowy my buddy Orlando shot in JPEG so I couldn't manipulate it too much so I kind of went with it I was like you know what it's kind of blown out in the sky so I'll just kind of work with it make it look kind of dreamy um, not that I'm dreamy I'm just trying to say that the photo itself gives that moody vibe I guess of, of a dream like characteristic I don't know where I'm going out with that but yeah so another one that we got is of me sitting down so as you can see my pants are still wet this whole time I was getting a photo of myself I didn't know my pants were wet so I was like really frustrated when I found out my pants were wet um, but yeah so I turned it from this photo into this photo so I thought it was pretty cool I kind of brightened up my pants um, in the area that was wet so that way it didn't like look like it was too wet or whatever and then uh, then again, you know, it was blown out as well, worked with it. Sometimes, you know, whenever you go do a photo shoot, it's always better to shoot underexposed rather than overexposed because when you shoot underexposed, you can bring out so much more uh, detail into the image. But it happens, you know, happens to the best of us. Everyone out there shoots overexposed sometimes. And, you know, this is an example, but it's what you do with it, right? So you can't always complain. So next photo was... Um, okay hold up so because I realized that my pants were wet I was like okay well I can't do close shots of me so what we did was there's this bridge that went across the creek and on the, in the vlog I said I was gonna jump across the bridge and I didn't mean to like jump off the bridge or whatever I was referring to like just jumping from pillar to pillar that's on the bridge so I told I told Orlando I was like yo why don't you get me and then you know reverse I got him too um, and so this is the picture we came out with and um, I thought it was pretty dope we tried to get action shots just so that they weren't so still and um, I ended up turning it into this photo so I thought it was pretty cool I don't know something different I guess it would have probably made more sense if I was wearing like shorts but um, I went with pants I don't know not looking back at it I should have just worn shorts it was super hot I didn't expect it to be so hot but yeah that that i mean it happens you know so then we got all those shots and then it starts to get darker and um i purposefully chose to do portrait shots first and then i wanted to do landscape last mainly because i know i wanted to shoot long exposures and i don't have an nd filter so if you don't know what an nd filter is all it is it's like sunglasses for a camera whenever you shoot long exposures you're opening up the length of the camera so I wanted to shoot like two, four seconds of water going down so then it would look kind of misty. So um, let me find the shot. So this is the picture that I got. This was the original photo. And I thought it was all right. I don't know, the mold on the rocks kind of looked weird. But I noticed I kill the green all the time and I always turn it orange. Because personally for me, I think it looks dope that way. But I wanted to change things up a bit. So this is what I ended up coming up with. Uh, I kept the greens. I just changed it a little bit to make it look more moody. And then, uh, well, yeah, you see the water, it, it looks very silky smooth. Uh, it kind of reminds me, I used to play Destiny, and uh, there's this thing called the Vex, and they have like this gooey stuff, and that's what it looks like to me. So, it looks pretty cool. And then, um, I realized very fast that it was very hard to get long exposure photography without an ND filter. So, I tried to just amp up the shutter speed, and I just wanted to get a still shot of the water. So, this is the shot of the water. It looks pretty cool. And again, I don't know, I just wanted to try something different, right? So I never really do these things. 
and, uh, and then I change it to this right here. So it was sunset time and when I originally take the, took the photo it didn't look sunset so I kind of had to make it look like it. So I just kind of raised up the temperature in the uh, Lightroom and then I kind of made the water a little bit blue, very slight, not too much just because it looked unnatural when I did it a little bit too much. But um, but yeah, that's, that's the last photo that I got guys. I, I took a bunch, you know what I mean? So. I, I could go on and on and show you guys all the photos, but this video would just be way too long. But Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you learned something new. Tell me your favorite part of the video. Was it the B-roll footage, the drone shots, the um, time lapses? I don't know. I just try to mix it up and try to do something different um, than my other videos. And if you want me to make more vlogs, let me know please because it's a lot of work. And uh, it's very draining, but it, it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. I enjoyed it, honestly. So I'll probably record more vlogs in the future. But without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. And please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.